Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. Hey, I want to talk to you today about 18 secret words that I use to boost prayers. The secret to boosting prayers. It's a secret. Nobody knows about it. But I do. I do. I use it all the time. Everybody wonders why I get so many people's prayers answered. I'm going to share that with you today. Well, how I do it. Huh? Nobody can, nobody can ever say that I keep all this revelation a secret. I don't. I share it all. I share it all. I want it all out there so that when I leave this world, who knows, way over 100 years old, because 100 is the new 40, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not even there yet. I just turned 34 in August. But when I leave this world, I want everything I know to be out there so that I don't take nothing with me without sharing it. I share everything. Also, don't forget today is the last day for this book. How to Pray. Please get one of these books. Get one for yourself. If you have one, please get one for somebody else. Send, text me if you do your offerings and donations today. People did their offerings and donations during the night. A bunch of you did. Now, text me your name and address so I can put one of these books in the mail for you. If you want somebody else to have it, text me their name and address and I'll put it in the mail. Amen. That's how people share. You wouldn't believe how many phone calls I get from people who say, Pastor Jim, I got one of your books in the mail. I say, praise God. They say, can you pray for me? And I do. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, share this video with everybody you know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button because that helps our placement on these videos. Amen. And also, it's on uh, Wednesday and Sunday, Facebook Live. Uh, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, you can watch our church service live. Praise God. Share these. Glory to God. Hey, I want to talk to you today about, we're talking about prayer. <clears throat> we're going to talk about prayer this week. I want people to be able to get their prayers answered. We were talking in church. We started talking yesterday about uh, Mark eleven twenty four, 24, where Jesus told us, how to get prayers answered. He told us how to do it. Yet very few people ever see that verse. Very few people. And there's another verse in the Bible that shows us how to boost prayers. Now, I was doing this before I ever saw that verse. Why was I doing it that way? I don't know. I just was. I just was. But when I saw that, and it's in this book, it's in there. It outlines it. I'm going to tell you, you don't have to get the book to, to, to find this out, but read about it. Read about it. The secret to boost. People need a boost for their prayers. Believe me, if you're not getting your prayers answered, and most people don't, most people do not get their prayers answered. And they just accept that. Some people pray and pray and pray and pray. Oh. <clears throat> I heard somebody say one time, very prominent woman, you would know who she is if I told you, which I'm not going to. But she said about, she was wanting to start something new in their ministry. And she said, we have prayed this through. We've prayed this through. And I thought, now this was a long time ago when we were in Bible college. And I thought, how do you pray something through? And other people at Raymond, some of the instructors were talking about 
praying things through. I was up all night praying it through. I have never prayed anything through. Yet I get a lot of prayers answered. They pray and they pray. And I asked one of the people one time, I said, how do you pray something through? And he says, well, you just pray until you have peace. And I thought, huh, I already have peace. Well, that didn't take long. They pray until they have peace about it. In the case of this one woman, her and her prayer partner, she has a wonderful prayer partner, and these people are very anointed and just very mature and, and wonderful people of God. And she said her and her prayer partner prayed together for months about this. Every time they talked, they prayed about it. Finally, they broke through. Finally, it's like, it's like doing worship. Mary and I were doing a conference one time. We went out west and we did a huge conference. And uh, the pastor's wife was the one who led the worship. And he says to me, he says, the meeting was supposed to start at 7. He said, I'll get you on about 9 o'clock. I said, 9 o'clock? I said, that's two hours after we get here. He said, that's, that, I'll get you on about 9 o'clock. I said, don't bother. I don't, want to, I don't want to sit here for two hours and then come on. I don't want these people to sit here for two hours and then have to pay attention to me. I said, put me on right away. I said, give me the people when they're fresh. So they can receive. Well, he saw that. And so they put me on about 7.30, quarter to 8. Moved it up over, way over an hour. Well, he said to me, he says, you know, he says, when my wife does uh, praise and worship, he says, he said, she will, she will do worship until she breaks through. I said, until she breaks through? He said, yeah, until she breaks through. I said, you know, I said, I lead worship in our church, Mary and I do. I said, the minute I sit down at the piano or pick up the guitar, I break through. He said, yeah. I said, yeah. The minute you pray, you're through. You don't have to break through. You're through. God picks up the phone the minute you say, Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Whoa! Everything stops in heaven. And you have God's undivided attention. Did you know that? I mean undivided attention. The Lord is paying attention to you. Now, how I boost people's prayers. People pray all the time. They don't get answered. But you know what? My partners and the people in my church will not settle for not getting an answer to their prayer because they know what to do to make it happen. And why? Because they watch these videos and they come to my church. Huh? Prayer should not be a waste of time. But it is for most people. Well, Pastor Jim, prayer is never a waste of time. Well, if you don't expect to get results, it is. Amen. Praise. Praise is never a waste of time. Mary prays, praises, praises God all day long. She sings in the spirit and she sings to the Lord. Mary praises God all day long. That is not a waste of time, folks. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. But she doesn't pray all day long. Neither do I. Samuel. A, Hannah in 1 Samuel had been praying for, I know, at least 20 years to have a baby. She was now 
in her, either in her late 40s or 50s. And she had ceased to be able to have children. She was not cycling anymore. And in those days, if a woman's husband died and they did not have a son, they were out on the street. So she's a little bit nervous because her husband is probably 20, maybe 30 years older than she is. And she's in the temple crying her eyes out and travailing and just begging God. Eli, the priest, thought she was drunk. She said, no, I have poured out my soul before the Lord. And he looks at her. 18 words he spoke to her that caused her prayer to be answered. It boosted a 20-year prayer and caused it to be answered when he spoke 18 words. Go back, please, and read this. This is what I do. This is how I make things happen. Everybody goes, oh, Pastor Jim, you're such a great man of faith. Road, road, road. Well, that's nice to hear, but I just do what God's word says to do. How simple is that? Huh? That's, that's it. I don't think too much of myself. I just do what God's word says, and it works. Eli says, 18 words, count them up. Go in peace. Peace is shalom. Wholeness, completeness, wellness, abundance, prosperity, health, everything you want or need. That's what the word shalom means. The, he says, go in peace. And that word actually should be go in shalom. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition. That's in italics. So that word thee was not in there. Grant thy petition that you have asked of him. Go in peace and God give you what you want. And this woman was no more sad. She knew when he said that, that was it. That was the end of it. She knew she was going to have a son. She went home. Tells us her. she went home. And her husband knew her. They had relations. And she became pregnant. A woman in, in her 50s who could not get pregnant when she was 20 because of what Eli said went home and conceived. Now, I want you to understand something here. Hannah was expecting before she conceived. Most women are expecting after they conceive, they see the baby bump. They miss their periods. They know they're going to have a baby. They do the test. See what color it is. They do the test. She didn't do any of that. All she had to go on was what Eli said. And she knew it. She had faith in his words. And so did he. I'm telling you what, when that guy said... The Lord do something, the Lord do it. He boosted her 20-year prayer and caused her to have a baby. People call me and say, Pastor Jim, I need a new job. I've been praying all night. I say, the Lord give you a new job. Have a nice day. They call me back or text me a week later. Pastor Jim, I got the best job of my life. I say, I told you so. In the name of Jesus, be healed. The Lord heal you. Pastor Jim, I got better right away. We had COVID patients on ventilators with low oxygen levels dying. Get up and leave the hospital. The next day. A bunch of them. Why? Because I said so. Just like Eli said so. Read that. Understand, we can activate the power of God. Get your book, How to Pray. Text me your name and address when you do your offerings and donations today. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life.